Yo everybody, this is Map Wizard talking, and we're we're back online for another tutorial. So basically, uh, lots of things happen in the bunker uh, evolution. Uh, I've been busy working at it. Um, had to do some thinking. There was some issue, and I'm gonna go through them. And today we're gonna cover uh, what was evolved in the bunker and the problem that was solved and how I solved them. Um, and uh, the, the gameplay uh, modification that exists uh, um, that I had to, to implement. So let's start. So where we left last time, we were talking about the cave. Uh, so basically, uh, the cave uh, is, is connected to one of the secret entrance. Uh, and then we're going to see down uh, what's, what's going on. So um, down here, uh, we can see the uh, engine room. Uh, the engine room is hiding the door from where the cave is leading to the inside of the bunker. Like if you, if you, um, let's go back in the cave. If you go back in the cave, when you come up, uh, the modification. So I think integration is pretty well done. Uh, uh, the flying is uh, just making me crazy right now. <laughs> So uh, when we're we're getting in here, we have like a, a nice integration between the uh, the bunker connectivity. Um, there uh, there has been some modification. We're gonna go up first. Uh, I, I think the uh, this is pretty nice. There's these barrels are connected to an automatic system that clears out the build throughout the the map. I'm working to, uh, to put the, that everywhere. And in here, uh, I have evolved a little bit and added column, uh, like pillars, basically. Uh, I thought it needed uh, some dynamic for the player to be able to hide behind and uh, go away from toward an, ex an escape. Uh, some furniture uh, to give like a, a feel like it's a bit, uh, it's a, there's people actually uh, using this area. There's a, a food area. Uh, which the player can actually escape from, get in and escape from the, all the uh, the belt around, uh, which is the only place you can actually get healers. Uh, so if a player is damaged, you will have to come in the cafeteria or any surrounding to get a healer. Uh, there's uh, windows you can get through, can hide in there. So basically what it was is... Uh, just simply ledge and and corn gives the uh, uh, the potential uh, for gameplay here. There's a there's a little bit of uh, of a blue uh, slurp. Uh, this is pretty much what this this thing is all about around. What uh, what was implemented uh, also is uh, there has been a lot of tweaking inside to put details. Like uh, pipe lights uh, modification played a little bit with the light. It's a little bit dark, so if you come in here, you have to have like a, a higher level of brightness. And some people don't set it uh, correctly, so they come in and they think it's dark. But that's what it, that's what I wanted. I had here uh, installed uh, right here uh, some zone. Uh, it's barrier basically that you can go through. And, uh, with a mechanism I'm still thinking of how I should do that I remove whatever I did because I didn't like it it was it was not working correctly uh, I'm thinking of removing uh, this uh, this mechanism to put something else which is would englobe the whole uh, the whole uh, map basically uh, basically the uh, there's no resources and you can build but there's uh, the builds get cleared every two minutes uh, the resources and the gold for the machine are going to come directly from the player when they kill. Uh, so you start with a loadout. Um, two teams, two different loadout. The, the team two, which is done in the bunker, is getting better weapon. And they have to defend the invasion uh, from the outside. Uh, and I'm going to cover that uh, probably in other... Uh, I'm still thinking of the dynamic, but for sure here, the whatever you see in these machines will change, definitely. Uh, it's going to be more items to defend the bunker and eels to bring the player into this area, basically. Um, that we had already established that in a 
plan originally, which is what I, I want to stick to. They're gonna be uh, they're gonna be right in the middle. They're gonna be uh, uh, probably another island uh, where there's gonna be like machines all around so that people can come upgrade their weapon. Uh, the upgrade system works with the gold, so the more kill you have, the more weapon you can upgrade and stronger you become. Um, the healers, I really want them to be outside the belt, not in the machine. But I'm still thinking about it. Uh, I'm going to have a few trial and probably ask some of my followers to go come help me uh, test this with uh, many people. Uh, I have uh, implemented uh, also some, some sort of mechanism as a defense. Because uh, uh, right now we don't see it, but usually uh, there's, a, there's a button that I can actually hide the HUD. Uh, and it's give more uh, more power for the defender because uh, if you don't have a HUD and you don't have a crosshair, it's harder to kill and aim. Um, that's what the changes was done inside the bunker directly. Now, uh, there has been uh, work at the bottom as well. Let's go see that. Uh, under the stairs, uh, there was like a, we had it like a, a small bathroom, um, and we developed this portion because this this was like the last time I showed was I was putting the uh, the flooring only, and uh, this evolved a lot. So uh, I divided it, uh, created like a like a, a workspace for kind of like a warehouse. Uh, these are working elevators, so uh, I can go up. And if I go back, I can go down back to the original point, which is pretty useful. Uh, people like that usually. I've created like a warehouse area, uh, which uh, I'm going to put more stuff in the... Uh, I need to put like the props in all the, uh, the shelves, basically. Uh, I want to create like a, some, some space to be able to hide uh, and, and basically bring dynamic for... Uh, for trying to hide and seek and shoot others, this directly connects to the uh, one of the secret entrance and the second floor. So they, uh, you know, those stairs. Um, I think I like the way it, it turned out. Uh, I think it's uh, it's just a matter of putting the props now and the lighting was done. So it's I, I think it's pretty good. I did an oxygen generator. This one I'm pretty proud of. It's nice. I'm gonna put some dynamics around it. So this is the oxygen generator, um, and uh, the dynamic uh, would be probably to do like uh, something uh, uh, that if somebody comes here and uh, sabotage the the controller, um, it would actually uh, bring up damage to all the players within the bunker until somebody come disable it. Um, I'll probably have to think of the mechanism behind it uh, just uh, to not allow it to be activated like constantly. Uh, so uh, maybe two or three times max. Um, I put a vault here. I'm, I'm still thinking if I'm going to do something with the vault, but uh, looks like I was thinking about it a little bit more. <laughs> Uh, I need to see for the mechanics for this. I don't know if I'm going to implement it or not, but uh, it's in place anyhow. And that's pretty much the uh, what was evolved uh, within the uh, the bunker so far. Uh, I revised a little bit the lighting where, where I go. It's like uh, right here, I think uh, I need maybe a little bit more lighting. Uh, it's it's kind of darkish here. Uh, but it's it's okay. I mean, it gives like a nice effect anyhow. Um, one of the thing uh, that also change is uh, the uh, the up upper level. They're gonna be a secret room. I'm not gonna show where it's at, but uh, uh, there's a secret room already built. Uh, I'm gonna put in there like some some golden weapon. That's my trademark. Uh, there's always a, a, a door like the, like a, a room like this. So if we go up uh, the, the first floor, well, the team one, when they're going to spawn, they're going to spawn with green weapon, but they're going to be in a hurry because they're going to be chased by, uh, by raptors. So they have to find in a, in a very rush 
the secret entrance and, and uh, infiltrate uh, the, the bunker. Uh, once they die, well, they respawn up up. <laughs> so uh, uh, basically, they, uh, they have to deal with the raptor every time they die. And uh, eventually, they'll, they'll figure out the entrance. And it's going to be the dynamic of I die, I survive the raptor, I, I get inside the bunker. Which gives... Um, a little bit more, uh, a little bit more dynamic, I think, in the gameplay. Uh, before I didn't have the weapon. Now I implemented the the weapons uh, for the uh, the boat team. Uh, I remove uh, all the uh, uh, basically the uh, the extra weapon that I output because like there was a lot of followers coming to see the map live, uh, and I, I remove that now to put. The, the good the good settings and weapon for per team uh, that's pretty much what has been done so far um, mechanic wise uh, here I had implemented uh, a box with uh, some sort of uh, mechanism to uh, be able to box yourself in when you're being attacked and stop firing but the problem is that there's a limitation because when I do that automatically the uh, the turret get got broken and I didn't like it, so what I did is I removed the box and I removed the mechanism for it, and uh, still have like uh, healers on the wall directly that people can use. Uh, still, I consider it's in the commune room, which is pretty good. And uh, I put turret because what happened is player comes here and breaks the turret, so there's no more turret. So if I put turret here, somebody can actually purchase them freely. And put it there or purchase it and put it anywhere in the bunker which gonna give dynamics so if there's uh, guys that come in here uh, they can actually take cure it and go put it in the uh, uh, in front right in front uh, in the corridor and cover like uh, areas uh, but we know turrets you know they can be passed so it's gonna give like a nice uh, I think a nice uh, resistance um, that's pretty much where I was with the bunker. Uh, I think the dynamic is starting to uh, to emerge a little bit more. Uh, I like whatever it, it, it's uh, it turns out to. I think uh, the uh, the weapon segment is going to be around here uh, for the machine, or maybe here because there's a little bit more space here. And um, that's what we do now. Uh, one of the uh, my problematic, uh, my problematic here with this uh, this turret in the box was uh, any there anything I try I tried to uh, put it in the box I try to put uh, a great like a bigger zone in it it wouldn't work um, I tried to do like a, a box with a door and windows and I thought like it was not it was not properly working the way I wanted. Uh, I think the visibility was too uh, too small for the turret to shoot due to the height. Uh, I could do custom stuff. That's uh, that's one of the thing I was uh, I was evaluating. Uh, mechanic wise, I think I'm I start to be ready to put more advanced mechanic and start to put in the machines and uh, uh, and uh, the development uh, will pretty much stop where it's at uh, I think it's becoming a big map there's still stuff that I need to complete uh, I think it's over here um, I don't have this one here. Or this one. so uh, when we go here uh, we have rooms like office areas I need to complete this uh, like there's nothing in it and there's other rooms as well, so that's the reason why I want to stop. Uh, because we've reached the uh, almost 75k uh, memory, and that means the props uh, are taking usually uh, a lot of memory. I don't want to uh, to go uh, and uh, miss memories because we've implemented a lot more than expected in this map. I think so far I'm very happy of the results, uh, and uh, well. Basically, that's where we're going with this uh, this map. Uh, it's gonna be stopped. the uh, The only thing we need to stop uh, changing is at the top. Um, 
we have those stairs that communicate with some some sub uh, corridor uh, and on the other side um, we had that done here but uh, it's not implemented so originally in the plan I wanted to do that and implement it but it started to be uh, way too much uh, way too big uh, so what I was thinking of is uh, right here rather than continue this and connect it over there and do rooms like I did on the other side is just like simply um, just remove this and uh, remove the stairs as well like this and uh, just expand this as a big room over here because you see we have the uh, we have the uh, the space right here so if I close these walls here I don't have to worry about anything else you know I just close this here this is it um, and that fixed my problem I removed this right there um, Yeah, like this and like this. Then what I can do is I can actually uh, size uh, better what I want to do in here. And when we go inside, what we're going to get is we're going to get an entrance right here. try to see the size of that thing so we're gonna have two rooms potentially one's gonna have a room here a bit like we did on this side so that room uh, is gonna be pretty useful here and then uh, that would complete basically our corridor uh, giving uh, giving uh, maybe an extra door here is it no okay so that's it so that that we, we, we would close this not even making a room and just like having like a sink like a, a corridor now if I do that they're gonna be one thing that we uh, we don't have is the uh, uh, we don't have interaction in here, so I would have to think of something which is here, probably like healers or or like a, a set of machine to upgrade weapon. Uh, so I'm going to think of how to do like a small room over here, and that's going to reduce my development and put stop to developing uh, within the bunker, basically. And uh, basically the props and everything, It's I think it's the... Uh, uh, it's where we're at right now is we're finalizing with the props and uh, the fine-tuning the layout and the, uh, the the details layer basically because we've constructed like structure and then we built up on and then we increase 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 constantly but now we're getting to the point where we actually get uh, to do the details which is giving the final touch for the, the bunker and I think this commune room is is pretty good <music> Oh, 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 oh,